what did you see from Blake in the three starts? Because he's still 97, and he would still snap off those breaking balls at times. The changeup was there at times, but the numbers obviously are, um, they are what they are. What, what were you seeing there? It, it, just, it blows my mind because I didn't see anything different with stuff. The stuff is still there. And I mean, obviously we can make a lot of excuses for him because he didn't have a spring training. And this is in essence his spring training, which is the first time in his career he's ever had to deal with something like this, where your spring training comes in the big leagues in the month of April. And then you're trying, and then you don't have success early. And now you're, you know, you're, you're, you're trying to figure it out when it matters. Where in spring training, it doesn't matter. And you can have rough outings. We saw Logan Webb have a really rough spring training didn't matter. He knew when the, when the lights went on that he was going to be okay. It's, it's a little different when you don't have that spring training, that foundation. So I, I thought that if you look at Blake Snell's numbers in the month of April, especially last year, they weren't good. Yeah. This is the year he won the Cy Young. And I look at more stuff. Like I look at what the curveball looks like, the slider, the fastball velocity, the changeup. That more, that's more important than, than location at this point. Yes, if you don't have the location, you're gonna get beat up a little bit like he did. But as long as the stuff's there, he's gonna be able to put the ball where he wants to, mechanically, just with reps. And he and because he has a lot of past success to draw upon and what works best for him and a lot of video to go to where he can get, and he's you know he'll get on track man and all those things to see where he is at. Um, I didn't expect the injury, right? Mm -hmm. But he's had this injury before and it makes a lot of sense that when you're trying to ramp up quick and you're trying to do it at the big league level under a lot of pressure, when you know, when you're not in spring training, you can kind of stay within yourself and make pitches and if something's maybe bothering you a little bit, you you won't you won't go go after it real hard, right? You'll kind of back off a little bit to protect that and get ready for the next time. But at the big level, you don't have time to do that, right? So you pitch through it, and a lot of times it makes it worse. So as soon as he gets back, there might be a little bit of a, a two or three start buildup again that he might struggle and be a little inconsistent. But I don't really worry about him. I think the last four months of the season is where we should really judge him.